Well, folks, uh, come indoors for this one's kind of blowing outside anyway. And uh, I'll try to explain this real easy is that what we're finding out is that after over a year and a half of this YouTube deal, there's another reason why we have a YouTube channel. And uh, it, just like the YouTube itself, it didn't start off that way. I just showing people how to rope. But as it turns out, because of me being a veteran, I mentioned Agent Orange and Lady in Australia got a hold of Deb and told her how to get some medicine that might help me with the pain and things like that. And uh, I've been on it five months now and it's working. And I mentioned earlier I was going to share with you about it and I just was waiting a little longer to make sure everything was straight. And uh, it is. Now what it's about is that for those of you that don't know, Agent Orange was a herbicide that was sprayed in Vietnam supposed to kill the foliage. Well, it did, believe me. And what they do is spray an area that they needed to have aerial reconnaissance. They'd able to see the ground or like in my case, I was in artillery. So they'd spray a ridge up in the highlands and then when the stuff died, they'd burn it, burn it down to the ground and then they'd come in and cut pads with the CBs and then they'd pull out and then we'd pull in with cannons and then we'd set up our cannons and a perimeter and a, a mortar team and we got moved around. We were mobile, I guess you call it. And for you veterans, it was called a one o deuce howitzer and you got to know that a whole lot of things that happened in Vietnam, I don't even remember. Who cares why? But the fact is, the veterans I've talked to since Veterans Day, it's the first time in my life that I've actually communicated with veterans, other than my friend in Michigan, who we've talked on the phone, but we haven't seen each other yet. And he and I were together in Vietnam. And uh, Vietnam veterans, I don't know about other wars, but Vietnam veterans, the ones that I know, once they got home, they didn't want anything to do with anything. We came home to a pretty ugly scene and um, we just wanted to kind of disappear. I know I did. And I didn't want any, anything to do with the VA, any other veterans, nothing. And I found out there was a lot of guys like that. Anyway, coming right along to now, 40 years later, we start getting sick with all kinds of different things wrong with us, diabetes, cancer, all these things that have long names. And uh, what I've learned since I went and talked about it on the YouTube, thanks to all the veterans, is that evidently they changed the ingredients in Agent Orange three times. And that's why there's so many different symptoms. And a lot of, t a lot of times none of us figured it out until later on because like me, I don't have diabetes. That's the first thing they ask you when they do the Agent Orange check. Well, the fact is, the Agent Orange got my throat. And uh, I'm not trying to run for queen for a day, but I'll tell you what, uh, what was bothering me in a second. But the Gulf War is another one where there was burning oil fields. And I think the fallout from that got these guys because... I've heard from Gulf War veterans, and for them, it's interestingly enough, it was 20 years after the war, not 40 like us. And I, I think it's because of another generation, and as children, them being exposed to a lot more th chemical things than we were when we were little kids. It's pretty much, we didn't know the term, but at that time, it was all natural. So anyway, and the other one is the Navajo Nation because of all the uranium in the mines up there, they have had nonstop cancer, diabetes, all kinds of problems, medical problems, and a lot of them are connected to what we did to them, and a lot of them are connected to the chemicals in the ground. So this may help some of my friends up on the res too. But uh, Dow and Monsanto are the two major culprits in this deal, incidentally. Now what I want to tell you is what I've been taking is this bottle and it's ASEA Redox and the part that it dawned on me after four months 
it says cell signaling supplement. All right, you probably figured out by now I'm no genius, but what it did was my throat, one side of the epiglottis was didn't work because the cells were dead. And that's why I choke so much and I don't breathe well. Well, I've noticed a big difference in four months, five months, that I don't choke as much. Okay, that's a big, big thing for me because it, when it, when you really get into choking, and I've talked to other veterans that have this exact same thing, it can get pretty painful at times. And um, what you got to know, as far as I can tell so far, this doesn't cure Agent Orange. It doesn't absolutely cure it so far. What it did was take away a lot of the pain and it started breaking down the problems, percentages. In other words, I had 100% neuropathy from the knees down and in my hands. Well, I'm going to tell you that 25% of that's gone now. I'm, I, my feet actually get cold now. They don't feel like they're on fire at night. And I can feel stuff with my hands. I used to be able to pick up pretty hot metal and didn't even know it. But uh, So the neuropathy and the choking and then cluster headaches. And the reason I'm saying all this stuff is because there's other veterans out there that this is going to ring a bell with. Because there's so many symptoms. Cluster headaches, you can imagine what those are. I had those quite a bit. And now I'm down to maybe two a week. And that's that's a real good deal because of sleep deprivation. You get them at three in the morning usually. Right leg, you probably noticed I'm gimpy. I've had two hip replacements on the right side. And when they, the first one, I went septic. And uh, I was out in Nevada. And I was a long ways from town. 90 miles actually and by the time I got to the VA in Reno I was septic and uh, they put me on an ice blanket and I went from there but what I want to tell you is is that they cut on me six times six different operations and uh, all the muscle was cut up in my leg from the knee to my hip and I haven't had feeling in my right leg from the knee up since 2009 well now I can actually I can feel that and for a while, I'd get smacked, and I just keep right on going. And it's not in my. <laughs> it's not that you're tough; you just don't feel it. So I'm starting to feel that now. That may not be good news, but I'm telling you, I'm getting feeling in my right leg. And then the breathing is not my lungs; it's my throat. And the breathing is getting better. I'm going to tell you that it's about ten percent better. And I can feel it. And. Um, the tinnitus, because being in artillery, everybody knows you're deaf in a post when you get done. It hasn't done a thing for that. But the other things, I'm really, really, I'm happy enough about it to share it with everybody because I think it's important. Because we don't need to be handed pills that are addictive. We need something that will help us, and that's what this did for me. Now, I'll touch on the PTSD for those of you that suffer from it, I'll let you know that taking this, drinking this medicine, what it did was just gave me a better frame of mind. I'm not so mad anymore because I can see some daylight at the end of the tunnel. And that's all, that's all I got to say about that. Now the math works out. It's 130 bucks a month for a month's worth of liquid. And I go through about a bottle a week. And and um, tastes like dishwater. But the good news is there's no aftertaste and there's no side effects. So I committed to a six month regimen. In other words, you get entered up and you do it. Let the tail go with the hide, go in for the whole deal. And that's what I'm doing and I'm glad I've done it. So. Well, Deb's going to put up the info on the screen about all the technical side of how to find them and all that. And what I would suggest you do is that you look it up and get your wife or your grandkids to do the detective work on the computer, and then you decide. I'm just telling you it worked for me, and it's not snake oil. And then once you've read it, go from there. And then there's been people got a hold of us, which I really, really appreciate because... Um, it doesn't matter why, but it just makes you feel good to know that there's people that aren't veterans that said they'd love to help. Well, down the road, here's what here's my suggestion. 
Everybody's got some kind of kin or knows somebody that's a Vietnam veteran. And if he's on hard times, because see, it's not none of my business to go up poking into somebody's financial world. But if you know a veteran, you tell him about this. And if he's on hard times, then you can sponsor him. That's what you can do to, to pay it forward. And um, I know that all of us will appreciate it. And please understand that there's not a dime going to me. It's not like Tupperware or Avon or all that stuff. I'm not selling it. I'm not going to touch it other than take it. I want you to hunt it up and decide if you want it or not. And there'll be no money coming to me or I'm not a rep. I don't get the little pin for whatever you do. So that isn't going to happen. I'm just giving you the option of, of seeking it out if you want to. So good luck, and if you got any questions, just send me a, a letter deal, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.